Welcome back, everybody, to a very soggy southeast Virginia. Some weeks ago, you guys may have remembered me doing the video on the pull start fire. We got the wood wet. Of course, it, back then, um, we couldn't even buy a raindrop. It was really dry, so I used the garden hose to saturate the uh, wood down. But uh, we've got three days of rain now. I've had a little break in the uh, rain, and we have thunderstorms that will be here another hour or so. So we're going to load this old Dakota fire hole with a uh, wet wood and we're going to pull this thing and see what happens see whether it lives up to its billing you can see there that it says no matches windproof to 200 miles an hour lights wet wood burns 30 minutes and i did the uh, uh leaf blower on it and it did not blow out um, that video is uh up on the uh, channel now so you can kind of review that if you want to so for the purposes of the review we'll talk about the, how this thing works one more time the green string, you anchor it to something, stick, rock, whatever, something heavy. And the red string, you pull. And when you do that, a very fervent fire will erupt and it is supposed to light the wet wood. So we are going to do that here very shortly. Bring y'all back in just a sec. Okay guys, what I've done is I've um, put a piece of rebar in one of the uh, Dakota fire holes and attached the green string to it and put the uh, pull fire start in the hole and as you can see the uh, trigger red wire is out here with me now we're going to load this thing up with some soppy wet wood that's been uh, rained on for three straight days and i can hear thunder out in the distance so it probably won't be long before we get to the storm okay our hole is uh, loaded up with wet wood and it can't get any wetter like i said i can hear thunder out in the distance so here in just a second, we're gonna pull this uh, red string here and give a demonstration once and for all whether this thing really will work when you absolutely positively have to have a fire started. All right, everybody ready? It finally popped, man. There it goes. The smoke went away and the flame come out of the hole, so it's uh, sizzling that wood. And we'll let it run for a bit, see whether it can maintain this heat. Like I said, we've had probably close to three inches of rain, I don't know, over the last few days. And I don't know whether you can hear the thunder to the north of me right now. Really? All right, well, that pack is definitely a little on fire. You can hear it sizzling. And that makes that wood is wet. It'll burn in 30 minutes, so I don't really care how long it'll stay lit. The last video uh, definitely showed you how long it'll stay lit. The bigger test here is this wet wood is so wet. Well, can it maintain enough heat to burn this wood up? And right now, I'll definitely say it's boiling that wet wood. Thunder getting a little close now. Bring it back just a sec. 
Y'all be the judge. What do you think? You think that thing gets hot enough to generate enough uh, fire to keep this wet wood burning? You can see what's left of the red trigger string right there. I'm going to have to say this fire is lit, guys. Even this big time wet, soggy wood is definitely on fire now. The smoke is starting to diminish. And we're definitely getting a nice bowl of fire here. Yeah, you definitely hear that wet wood popping. <laughs> Whole fire start thing. I definitely think even the wettest of wood, it'll it'll catch it. So if you absolutely positively had to have a fire started, I think this thing might be the ticket. Other than pouring a gallon of gas on something. And like I said, we did a video I don't know three or four weeks back, and uh, it was really dry. So I had to use a garden hose to wet the wood down. But this is three days worth of rain on this wood. You can see the uh, third fire hole uh, where the fire is burning. They have a second fire hole and the third fire hole and the central air shaft. And I don't know, three or four weeks ago, we did a, had all three fire holes going to cook some meatballs and hamburgers and some corn on the cob. And it worked. The uh, air pulled right on through. And definitely uh, did a heck of a job. And I know a number of you have uh, also done your own fire hole uh, videos and I think I've talked to a few of you in the last little bit that you're going to try this too. And uh, I'm definitely say this is, a, this works. All right, this is what it looks like uh, from the full on about 30 feet away. You can see a little bit of smoke, maybe a little bit of tops of the flames. But if you want to obscure yourself and uh, cook yourself a meal, save a little bit of smoke um, and I'd say that smoke is mostly because we have wet wood so if you had dry tinder it wouldn't be any any problem at all nobody would ever spot you especially if you were in a uh, nice thick territory woods rocks anything like that of course constructing a fire hole has got a lot to do with it's exactly just how much uh, what kind of uh, ground you're in clay mostly clay and a little bit of uh loam it works best but the sand and stuff like that nah it's not going to work you're going to have to come up with some other way of doing it okay we're about 10 minutes in now to this fire and as you can see that wood is uh on fire so i'm have to say this uh full star fire is definitely uh i give it a pass and grade he, I bought these, uh, I'm going to say that wrong, uh, my wife found these at Walmart, I think they were like $4.50 a piece. And you'll also notice on uh, Amazon and some online sources where they're $13 or $14, so it pays to shop around. All right, about 14 minutes in now, and that wood is still on fire, so is the uh, fire brick, whatever you want to call it. And for wet wood to be burning like this, that's definitely one intense little fire. Okay, 16 minutes in. And it is uh, working away at that wet wood. Now you can just imagine what this would do to dry wood. You'd have yourself a fully engaged flame in just a few minutes. It'd be about the same pouring a uh, layer fluid on it or something. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you uh, new folks that have uh, subscribed to the channel. I take every opportunity to look at your uh, videos and comment about it. And as I'm, a lot of you, all of you, have really done an incredible job. Fantastic. We might have to beat feet here the minute that thunder's getting in close. I keep having to run back to the shed real quick. Sounds like just across the, the border there. As always, like, comment, subscribe, send me a message, email, whatever. Love to talk to all y'all. Any questions? We have a Facebook page. You can join me there. Dave Collier Camping.
about 19 minutes in. Yeah, this would definitely, you know, on, a, on a dry day, you'd have yourself a fire in no time. You'd be cooking in just a minute or two. Almost like an earth pocket rocket, right? All right, I've had to retreat into the uh, camper shed here. Um, thunderstorm here. I don't know if you hear the rain or not, but it's just starting. Lightning in close. Um, the full fire start worked like a champ. I know a few of us were talking about this uh, pocket rockets, and this is the glacier model. It's a, got a big head on it, and it'll take a pan like that size. You fill it up, and it will have the water boiling about two minutes and 30 seconds. And of course, you don't get quite the longevity out of your canister there that you would with uh, the smaller uh, pocket rockets, but if you really wanted some water quick, this glacier will do it. Well, tell me what y'all think about that pull fire start um, and how it deals with wet wood. And uh, like I said, welcome to the new subscribers and like, comment, share. And I uh, will see y'all on the next video. Take care.